everybody Brandon Schaefer here back again with another episode thank you for joining in thank you for tuning in overcast day today and uh, high of 65 anytime it gets below 75 I start getting cold so I got my hat on brought some gloves with me just in case a little windy but uh, it's not gonna be overcast for long this is probably the last day before the summer uh, last day of clouds and possibly rain so getting out the paint and it looks like there's some blue sky so it may not be a complete overcast day but uh, we'll see what I can do anyway just walk into the location because uh, I'm gonna do mostly a sky scene so anyway hope you'll enjoy this one all right so you guys will probably recognize this location if you've watched episode 3 the intro was filmed right in the same spot and right across the way is where I did some cloud studies, but today uh, the sky is just a little more interesting um, for painting anyway, so uh, hopefully it'll go well. And so as soon as I started mixing up my paint, it just started really coming down, raining on me. But uh, I'm going with it no matter what happens. So uh, let me get started painting here. And one of my camera batteries wasn't fully charged, so I had to switch that. So yeah, great start to a rainy day, but uh, I'm gonna keep going, no big deal. Do what I can. So just starting with a simple sketch. Just a few lines here and there figuring uh, figuring out my composition. mostly about the sky but I like having something going on in the foreground here so just some cloud shapes happening back here completely cloudy here So now I'm jumping into light versus shadow, kind of where the darker, darker areas versus lighter areas. So for this painting, I'm actually going to work on the sky first because that's my main 
statement that I want to make here, the clouds, the focal point, that's my idea for this painting, so that's what I want to get mostly correct in the beginning. Get those values down. Clouds are tough for me because the values are so close together. They're very high key. Um, I always tend to make the shadows a little darker than they actually are, so I'm trying to be very aware of that, that I do that, so I'm going to try not to. So I'm going to focus on simple shapes here and let the colors kind of create cloud shapes. And the brush strokes. Clouds are moving quick, so I need to get them down and then stick with what I'm doing. I need to get it down and keep it and not worry about the clouds moving in the distance. I know the foreground's going to stay like this for the rest of the day. Uh, there's clouds moving in and out, but the light's pretty even. So my main, main thing I need to capture are these clouds, the shadows and the lights of these clouds. There's a lot of interesting shapes going on. So that's mostly the shadows. It looks very light to me, but comparing it to the rest of the landscape out there, they are very light in value. So I'm going to get the highlights now. I kind of ruined my highlight mixture, so I need to mix up some more. It's basically white with a little touch of yellow in it for warmth. The sun is shining on them. So, got that now. I want to be real careful not to mix and dirty this highlight. But uh, there's only so much I can do. There's a lot of complexity in these clouds, so I'm trying to simplify it the best I can. The whole point is here is, is getting this information, the values and the color temperature for the most part.
Somebody's always doing yard work every time I paint. I don't get it. Always noisy. Now I'm going back into some mid-tones and kind of filling in the gap between the lights and the shadows. a lot of things happening here out there so I can kind of see I kind of have it in blocks right now and I want to change that Trying not to chase those cloud shapes out there, they're constantly changing. I'm going to move to the rest of the landscape. And if I have to, I'll come back to this, but I got most of the info that I wanted. So I'm going to jump into a larger brush. Get it. It's mostly green down here. Uh, so I'm going to get a lot of these greens in. So now the sun's starting to peek through somewhere a little bit, but I'm going to ignore that and go with these color mixtures that I have down here, because that's what's important. So the rain's starting to come back now, a little bit. Oh yeah, I really like the clouds that I got now. Those look, that's what I was going for. I just couldn't tell with, without the rest of this foreground keyed in what was going on. And that usually happens. You have to get all the info in there so that it will read correctly. So I'm going to work on the dark areas now, the darker. 
darker accents are kind of coming in. Suggesting some tree branches back there. There's a lot of trees over here On this side a little bit over here as well So I'm just jumping back and forth Or what when I need stuff fixed I just fix it Some darks back here. Coming up in this tree, some darks. Same over here. I'm actually going to put in a little bit of the blue sky. So I'm still just focusing on the whole scene. I'm not finishing one spot, I'm kind of just seeing how it all works together. And at least I'm trying to do that. So I need to work on this juncture where the sky meets the clouds. Because that's an important uh, transition.
creating some sky holes now, filling in the rest of the sky. All right, so it's starting to come together now. Just need to create a little more variety. It's a little bit more warmth in this tree than the others. So finishing some of these areas a little bit more is going to bring it all together. So you can see how these trees are a lot cooler than these other trees surrounding them. Um, that's how it truly is. There's a lot of blue on these leaves compared to the other ones. So that's something to watch. And that's what color temperature is. So even though with all the rain, this is turning out to be a pretty cool painting day. And see this shape is the same size as this one, so I need to, need to fix something here. And I think I'm just going to tree actually comes down into that.
Alright, so I'm happy with how this one came out. I think I'm pretty much close to calling it done. Um, maybe add a little more coolness back in these clouds now. I can see in the sky it's a lot cooler. So I'm gonna modify that a little bit. And give that a shot. Otherwise, I like how this one came out so far, and it's pretty close, I think, to being done. You know, I don't want to change the value, but I want to cool it down, so it's... I think that's pretty close. I want to get rid of this really white spot. I can modify it a bit. I think that's a little more interesting. It's kind of kills some of this. I want your eye kind of in this middle area. This kind of helps you move around, but that's kind of my statement. So I want to keep this the interesting area. All right, this guy's completely different now, so I'm gonna call this one done and not mess with it anymore. Otherwise, I'll be here all day fidgeting with it. But I think this was a good effort for an overcast, slightly overcast day. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that episode. You know, sometimes Mother Nature's crazy. She can't make up her mind whether it's going to rain or not. And uh, sometimes it's just no matter the weather, you have to paint on and capture what you can. So anyway, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Keep on painting. Don't get discouraged. Take care of yourself. Peace.